Newscast mentioned this storm has caused some widespread damage. WTXL ABC 27's Jennifer Myers joins us now live in Cairo, Georgia. And Jennifer, what can you tell us? Well, Stephanie, my photog and I were walking down Broad Street. We're just outside of downtown Cairo, just a block away or so from Broad Street. And we were actually told to get off of Broad Street because there are a number of downed power lines. In fact, there's a number of roads closed, not just in downtown, but all throughout the city because of the storm that did pass through the area. And now I'm going to go ahead and step off camera and just kind of talk about some of the things that I've seen. I, as as my photog and I were walking around, obviously there are piles of debris. There's street lights that have been twisted around. There's, uh, as we kind of take a look closer towards downtown, some of the businesses, we have awnings that are down. We have uh, areas of what looks like possibly tin roof. There is a lot of glass on the ground. And again, a lot of those uh, power lines that are down. In fact, I was told, uh, as we were being told to not walk on Broad Street anymore, they're not sure which lines are still live and which ones aren't. But what we are seeing is a lot of first responders out, a lot of sheriffs, a lot of uh, police officers, even some ATVs and um, even some utility crews as well. Right now, the entire city still without power and we'll continue to uh, walk around and try to talk with some officials through the night. But until then, live in Cairo, Jennifer Myers, WTXL ABC 27.